Hey, what's up? A friend of mine who lives in Canada reached out to me and told me about a strong geomagnetic storm that will happen on Thursday night. And he knows me about like sharing some um, nature photos or or astrophotography and sometimes on YouTube like for example when I'm doing some time lapse of Milky Way or Aurora Borealis which is the northern lights so because of that strong geomagnetic storm that will happen on Thursday I'm preparing this device again I built this in 2011 yeah uh, although I've been updating it like for example this one is now using uh, a 3d printed material uh, so I've been updating this uh, motorized camera slider which is powered by Arduino this is the original box I, I bought the casing not the casing by the way I bought the material from Home Depot it is called polycarbonate and I use a nichrome wire a, a heated nichrome wire to bend to bend this okay it's a lot of work and this is running this is being powered by Arduino and I haven't had a time to up, update this I'm thinking of switching it to either uh, Python or maybe Node.js and it's gonna be running on ESP32 module right okay right now it's it is you can't see it it is a uh, uh, Arduino Nano it's fine it's solid look it's already 2024 I built this in 2011 or maybe 2013 never had any issues but look at all the wirings it's all hackish all right look at that okay yeah and what this thing does is it will control the stepper motor yeah right there cam on rails it means cam camera on the rail yeah that's the rail right yeah that's the rail this one is the rail the metal thing okay and then that's the stepper motor yeah that black thing there and then there's two meanings of camera rails it's actually my last name camera okay camera <laughs> um, yeah so what this thing does what this controller does is it controls the stepper motor I wrote the code in such a way that it will move the stepper motor for like maybe one degree one degree really really tiny degree so that way it moves like this like that can you see it really really small distance only and then after it moves it pauses for like maybe 200 milliseconds and then activates the shutter on on the DSLR using this cable yeah using this cable okay it's like that okay and then this is connected right here yeah the cable is connected right there and then the, the stepper motor is controlled yeah this is the cable that goes from the stepper motor and I connect it here you'll notice I had two connectors here I don't know what type of connector this one is I just thought it looked cool so I decided to buy it and then it connects there and back in the days the first version of or maybe not first version maybe second version of this if you notice I have another connector here right uh, I use it to connect I use it to control the the tripod not tripod the head the ball head so it goes swiveling it will swivel 
and it was cool but I had to add the stepper motor here which caused a lot of problems when let's say I want to like like tilt it like this it allotted it added a lot of weight so I, I got rid of that and then I just decided to do some parallax approach yeah the parallax approach is the the circular rod underneath if you notice watch this thing I'm gonna move it and then let's try to adjust this so you can actually see it much more easier you can see look at the head the the head this one it will adjust to a specific spot that you want the camera to focus on so that's what the parallax does yeah and I had to do some 3d printing oops sorry it's so blurry yeah that thing the black thing there so I had to do something like that to be able to yeah to do the parallax effect so yeah anyways so much information about this um what i'll do on thursday is i'm gonna prepare it i'm preparing it now so that on thursday night i'm gonna go to some place and maybe not become lazy and i'll be able to go out we'll see because i've got tons of work too that i have to finish so on thursday let's hope i'll find some spot and be able to capture northern lights yeah we'll see we'll find out alrighty uh, yeah this is my 2009 DSLR camera I think the shutter now is like hundred thousand <laughs> it is really cool and I have here a filter on uh, on the lens which is called didinium dididmium lens which is used by welders it actually prevents the the mercury um, mercury how do you call those uh, vapors yeah mercury vapors coming from 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 post post lamps on the street but I don't think this will work now because most of the lights pole lights here in our area have been have been changed to LED and it sucks you know it's much more brighter and it causes more pollution light pollution I'm referring to light pollution but anyways guys um, next part of this next part of this video that I'll share will be the 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 time-lapse of of Milky Way oh sorry not Milky Way Northern Light so which will be captured by this um, thing I built Alrighty guys, alright, later. I need to free up the space in my phone just to show them a pic of you. If we get distant, I know I got something that I can just hold on to. We surely be losing our heads, forget our plans, the moments we had. That picture must save it all.